part of the polar compass choice is recognizing that every experience contains the dark and the light. We consider those to be the main two polar opposites. And in today's day, I hear a lot of people talking about how, how we want to just be the light, bring in the light. And let's not talk about those dark things because we don't want to feed those negative ent entities. And I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Experiences are here to teach us. And we don't just learn from the good memories. We learn from the bad memories too. So when we look at good and bad experiences with the perspective of learning, then we don't feed negative entities. When we indulge, overindulge in both good and bad memories, then we can feed those so-called negative energies. See, one of the seven deadly sins that you could say is related to this would be gluttony. Although we're not eating a particular food per se, although sometimes that it does manifest that way, we're gluttoning on being, you know, trapped in, trapped in a good memory or trapped in a bad memory. I've met people who all they do is reminisce about the glory days in high school and college football, and they're not present. And the same thing when people basically live in their childhood traumas, and once again, they're not present. So we have to look at the good and the bad, the dark and the light. Of course, we want to use the light to help us to understand the dark, yes, but the dark is very important. Without the dark, we couldn't see the night sky.